Okay, bye. Okay. I'm finally done these friggin' doors. Um, this one's a dragonfly. So this one's got the moon up there. This guy, one's got the sun over the rising moon. I had to go back and touch this one up. Put another mountain in there to make it. Uh, Gordy's mom, Mrs. Burnside, asked if I could put another mountain in the background. And because I love Mrs. Burnside, I did it. So they're done. Anyways, so carry on. Because I had so much car uh, fun carving this um, gnome home, I don't think I did a YouTube video on it. I don't know about the owl, but whatever. It is what it is. I can cut the owl off if I want. I can make it another roof up there. I can make it another wood spirit. It's totally my thing, whatever I want to do. But so, uh, since I had so much fun carving this, I got this piece of cedar set up here. I'll get it ready to go and yeah, we'll just freaking start carving. Gnome home. Okay. So, this is a, hey, I got a new light set up here. Uh oh. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> Start over. Okay, so this is a piece of uh, western red cedar. It's uh, from the place I bought blah, 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 those planks from. That's uh, what the thickness on the bottom's like uh, a foot and a half, probably. Uh, this is like uh, a foot here. The back, the thickness is, uh, the, that was the width. This is like six inches down here, but it gets thinner up here. It's like four inches up here. And yeah, okay, it's like five feet tall. So I'm gonna carve another gnome home in this piece of wood and I'm just gonna do it fast and I'm just gonna have fun. That's, you know, I think that's what these things are about. These uh, gnome homes is having fun. And you just kind of, you guys, well, yeah, I'm using my chainsaws for this, but this also applies for dribble too. You just got to kind of get into it and carve it and do it and just have fun and don't care what happens because it's a gnome home. It's like there's roofs all over the place. We might put a wood spirit in here and it's just about having fun and being creative, right? It doesn't have to look like anything. Don't think your gnome home look needs to look like mine because I'm not look, using any reference pictures to try and look like somebody else, okay? So let's see here. We'll do this. And then we'll make some stairs here, okay? And so I got a nice big jumbo pen. We gotta try and do this. So let's put a door here. I kind of like the rounder doors. Doesn't have to be perfect. This, this gnome home is like millions of years old, right? So it's all war the wood's all warped and all twisted and everything. So this will be rocks down here. Now let's see where we want to put our roofs. So it's just as easy as this, okay? This is how easy it is. Let's put a roof here. Let's put a roof here. Put a roof here. Um, should we put a wood spirit on it? I wish I could ask. I wish you guys could answer right now, but... Um, yeah, we'll put a wood spirit on it. So, roof here. So, just try and make your roof sun staggered. I mean, this this could be like a window here. Same with here. This could be a window. Let's do it like we did the other one. Let's do a roof right here in the center. The roof doesn't need to be like equal sides. And then our wood spirit will be right here. kind of see and this could be a put a big chimney up here then we could put another roof up here see just about having fun I don't know I don't care do you care so anyways what I'm gonna start off with is my still 193 uh, chainsaw with a still dime tip carving bar you guys these are on back order right now okay but all I can suggest you do I gotta fix this. All I suggest you do for the back order, just go to your still shop and order it because sometimes they come in early, right? So, anyways, I gotta fix this chain. Then I'm gonna cut out these roofs. I'm gonna cut, like, I'll cut this roof here, here, straight in, or on a bevel or anything, and then just get rid of the wood behind it to make the roof stick out. Anyways, I'll stop talking and uh, let's just get uh, going.
Okay, so I looked at my camera, and that's about 20 minutes curving. Um, it just like just have fun. That's what this is about. Just having fun, right? So I'm not trying to protect perfect this piece or anything. This piece out here, up here, will be cut out after I'm done because this board's screwed to here, so this whole thing will be gone. There's a chimney. There's a wood spirit. I hollowed this out on purpose just to try something different, you know? Maybe I can carve some teeth in there. It's just, I'm gonna spend a couple hours on this piece, that's all. This window, who cares, good enough. Who says, who says a window can't look like that for a gnome home, okay? You know, I wanna talk about something too. So you see, I got, see that? This is the bar from the, the oil from the chainsaw bar. So you see spots like this? That, I think that means that you have to change, clean your bar because you're getting gumps of oil in there, right? So anyways, and some people in the group Carving Fusion, World of Wood Carvers, I changed the name to Original, have been asking about different types of oils for chainsaw bars. And they're worried that the oil's going to stain the wood or do something with the wood. You know, even if they use water-based um, stain a finish. You know, basically, when you're getting the bigger chainsaw carvings like this, you're going to burn the wood or you're going to sand it. So you're going to sand and burn all this stuff off, right? So I wouldn't worry too much about the bar oil. Splats on it. Like, I even use that cheap red stuff. Uh, before, I used to use just uh, cornolia oil, cornola oil. Um, but I talked to Steve um, Kanzora. He's a professional chainsaw carver. Guys, we have a group on, on Facebook too. It's called Chainsaw Carving of Fusion. And um, it's for beginner and pro carvers. But uh, Steve told me, he goes, he uses the thicker oil for the bars because the canola oil does like, for this bar, I might use canola oil. But I try to use the thicker oil, the real bar oil now because it sticks to the chain better. It sticks to the bar better. When you use that canola oil, it doesn't stick to the chain and bar. I don't know whatever so now what i'm gonna do is i'll cut some rocks down here i still got about another 10 minutes with chainsaw i'm just gonna you know draw some rocks and i don't even need to draw them in scribble and i'll cut those in i'll finish up with the chainsaw then we'll do some details with the die grinder okay i just kind of got some shealy rocks carved in there carved a bullshit little window and door and the thing in the in the door and uh yeah what's a window and a door doing in a door but anyways yeah what's a door doing within a door anyways okay so i carved some shaley rocks down there i carved like the door within the door and then a window and stuff i'm not spending much time on this piece okay so now i got this die grinder and i'm gonna run around clean up all, all i'll get in here up under here smooth everything out a bit and just uh you know carry on okay Okay, so for my normal subs, do you think this new light I got up here is uh, working better? Like, can you see better? Anyways, I got it cleaned up a little bit. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Now I'm going to use my little 140 ga uh, battery saw. It's got an 8 inch, uh, eight inch Canon uh, dime tip bar on there. This is 043 gauge, so it's thinner. And so thinner, the chain is thinner this way by meaning that, like between my fingers so what I'm gonna do now is go along and make it look like these roofs are shingles kind of I guess so yeah I'll get that done and then I'll be back all righty then so I just gave this guy a hollow eyes um, don't care his teeth aren't perfect, don't care. Who cares, right? Have fun. This is a quick, fun carving. So what I'm gonna do now, cause it's got all these fuzzies on it and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I carved bricks in there. Did I say that already? I don't know. Um, I got this uh, cheap grinder from uh, freaking Walmart with this uh, 36 grit. Uh, this is a three and a half inch disc, not the four and a half with a sanding backer. I'm gonna go along and clean up all these bricks now um, just to, well, speed up the burning process, okay? So I'll do that off camera and then we'll burn it. This looks like kind of like an icicle village the way it is, the colors in it. Anyways. 
Okay, so there you guys can see it's kind of cleaned up. I didn't clean up in here because I got it burned deeper in there anyways. Right? Look at the cool colors in this wood, though. Western red cedar. Bone dry. So, okay. This, I learned this from Ryan Cook. Like, I've been, before I met Ryan, I burnt my pieces too much, and you'd never get the beautiful color of the wood, okay? So, what I'm going to do with this, the little blue mapitate, whatever those tanks are called, I'm going to burn in the deep points, like around those doors and windows and inside the mouth and, the, like I said, that deep spot in there. Then I'm going to get the bigger torch, propane, okay? Then I'm just going to go along and lightly hit it, okay, just to get rid of the fuzzies off of it. That's what they that's what they use those torches for. So then I'm going to come along with the sandal flex and clean it up, and then we'll separate it, and it will be done, okay? So when you see me, it's going to be a super time lapse. I'm going to be using this for the deep spots. Then I'm going to come along with this, the bigger target torch, and uh, just lightly go over it and, um, yeah, get rid of the fuzzies. Okay, so there you go. Here's it all done. Just a super fun carving. Anybody can do this, you guys. You can do it with your Dremel. Just make your roofs uh, stick out farther. So cut and take away the wood on top of the roof. Make the roof stick out. Um, so I did show you like the beautiful color of the wood before I burnt it. So when you burn it, if you don't sand it the, perfectly the way it was burnt, you're not going to get the beautiful color of the wood. But I still have some color left here. Um, I, I don't have much of this. This is that rust old um, uh, gloss clear. This stuff's good. I like this stuff because it doesn't darken it too much. So, but I only got like that much. I don't think I'll be able to use the whole thing. But you guys can kind of see for yourselves. So you get the colors of the woods and stuff like that. So I I even use this stuff before I um. Before I use um, spar varnish because spar makes it go so dark. If you put a coat on this, of this on, then put the spar. I don't care what anybody says, by the way. I just do what I kind of want to do. Let's try and get the face here. Running out. Yep, there we go. So I run out. Anyways, I hope this video is able to help you guys. I hope you guys are good. Uh, thank you very much for all the support and. Um, yeah, I'll be back Dremel carving pretty soon. I got 35 pumpkins to carve. And um, yeah, I'll make a pumpkin carving video. So carry on, everybody. Have a good time. That's what it's about. Have a good time. <laughs>